Welcome back to the PHP form handling series tutorial. Hopefully you guys got WAMP installed. You got uh, MySQL, PHP, and Apache up and running on your local machine and you've tested out um, your, your, your local hosts and it runs in your browser. Hopefully you can do things like just type in local host and that's all you have to do to, to get this page to pop up. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a user inside a MySQL database. And I'm also going to show you how to connect to that MySQL database using PHP. So let's get started. Um, inside of PHP My Admin, you, you can actually get to it a few ways. You can get to it from the localhost index page that was installed uh, in your WAMP installation. You can get to it by clicking on PHP My Admin. Or you could also get to it by clicking on this little icon down here on your, uh, on this, what's the name of it, this little bar down here. Um, you click on PHP My Admin right here. So there's a couple ways you can get to, to PHP My Admin. But anyway, what I have done is I have created a, a new database. Um, it's as easy as right here in, in the main page, you just click on uh, create or you go in this little panel and you type in whatever your name is you can see that I have created one called New Boston over here to the left so all I did was type in New Boston you can type it in with a capital B or not or you can name it whatever you want to name it and then you click create so I'm going to say the New Boston just so you guys can see me do it I'm going to click on create and you can see here we have a blank database with no tables that's what this zero is for right here we have no tables in our database you can see that says that right there and one important thing that we want to do whenever we create a new database is give it some privileges you want to create some users um, you see that there are already some here and that I've also created a user um, called Cole for the local host. I'm going to run you through what you have to do here to create your own user. It's very simple. So we're going to click on add a new user and let's give it a name of New Boston. And I'm going to say local, so local host is the host. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live dangerously today. And I'm going to click on generate for password. And it's going to generate this crazy password that I could never remember. So I'm just going to copy that for a later use. And you'll see why in a minute. And right here we have global privileges. Usually you don't want to give a regular user... Um, like super you don't want to give them super or uh, let's see because if, if you did give them super they would be it, they would have full control over everything so I'm just gonna say check all I'm gonna uncheck super for now um, I'm doing this because you don't want to give a regular database user super Alright, so we've done that, we've generated a password, we've made a username, and now we're going to click go. Okay, and it pops up with a few a few things here, and it's asking uh, about database specific privileges, and we're going to leave all those checked for now, and we're just going to click go. There we go. Alright, so now we have created our our user, and you can see he is right there. I'm going to click on this and I'll check grant and then say go. There we go. Alright, so now that we've created our user and we have created a new database, I'm going to show you guys how to connect to that inside MySQL. And I've already I've already done this, um, so I'm going to show you how to edit this code right here 
to connect to your database. But first, I'm going to show you what happens if we have an error, and I'm going to tell you what these means, what these uh, these things inside the quotes mean. Uh, you could probably guess that the local host is where your database is located. Um, if you wanted to, if you have a database that is is somewhere else, you could say something like. You know, like uh, wherever your database is located, whatever server is located on, you can change that to reflect the correct location. But since we have our MySQL installed on our local machine, we're just going to keep using localhost. And I'm going to change this to New Boston. And that this the second thing that comes in after this comma in, in between these quotations is the username and then the next thing is that crazy password that we generated so like I said I'm gonna run this with the error so you guys can see what th this is actually messing is actually catching this it says if the, the connection if the connection is valid then you kill it and uh, if you guys don't know any PHP I'm pretty sure that Bucky did some PHP tutorials earlier. If you go back in time, you can check some of those out. Um, but I'm going to go into the assumption that you guys already have a little bit of PHP knowledge. So I'm going to delete this password right here. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say localhost. I think it was called formhandler.php. And you can see that this did exactly what we were expecting. It says the access is denied for user new Boston because there is no password. It says we're not using a password. So let's go back inside Dreamweaver. I'm going to paste that password back in. I'm going to click save. And now I expect to see nothing. I'm going to reload that because everything is working. So now that we have everything set up, we have our database set up, we have um, a PHP file inside of our www root you can see that this formhandler.php script was saved inside of our local hosts inside of the www root folder inside of the WAMP folder inside of the C drive so whenever you go to our local hosts slash formhandler.php we have everything running without any errors and now we are ready to move on to actually handling some forms so hopefully you guys got through this tutorial and everything made sense you made some users you made a database in the next tutorial we're gonna make some tables to store our data and then we are going to actually handle a form so I will see you guys in the next tutorial